Homicide 1916, the case of 27-year-old Charles Arthur Manning Clark. Charles Clark was on trial for the murder of his son, Joseph Charles Clark, but was found unfit to plead. Charles Clark had been a shipwright. Two of his children were found dead at their house at 81 Stanley Street, Lower Stoft, on Sunday the 28th of May 1916, but he was only tried on one count. One had been strangled, and the other had had its throat cut. He made no reply when he was charged with murdering the children. Charles Clark had given himself up to the police after killing them. A doctor that was called shortly after 9pm on the Sunday said that he found the dead body of a ten-month-old child in the downstairs back room. He said that it was quite dead, but still warm, and that there was a mark round its neck, and that on the left side the mark ran into a linear abrasion. He said that the child's lips were blue, and that it had every appearance of having been strangled, which he said was the cause of death. He said that he then found the body of a two-year-old boy in a cot upstairs, whose neck had been cut from side to side. He said that the child was also quite dead, but still warm. He said that the child's neck had been cut with a very sharp instrument that had severed the skin, windpipe, gullet and blood vessels of the neck, and that his death would have been instantaneous and due to the wound. The doctor said that he later saw Charles Clark, and determined from conversation with him and certain questions that he asked him, that he was not of a sound mind. The jury agreed that Charles Clark was not sane enough to plead the indictment, and the judge ordered him to be kept in strict custody until His Majesty's pleasure shall be known. Stanley Street was previously known as Raglan Street, 